You all all right? You cool? Okay. So I was sitting there in my car as I pulled up. You know, you gather your stuff before you get out and stuff like that. And I heard, I couldn't tell if it was laughing or crying. And so I kind of look over my shoulder and I see they look like teenagers. But the girl, she was kind of pushing on the guy. And again, I couldn't tell if it was laughter or if she was crying. So I get out of the car and I go around to the trunk and at this point I can tell that she's crying and the guy, he says something to her as, you know, I make my appearance. But from a distance, I just ask him, I said, are you okay? And he said, yeah. I said, okay. Does the fact that she was only kind of pushing him here or on the legs, does that excuse abuse? I mean, if roles were reversed, we wouldn't we wouldn't accept that. We would say, keep your hands, you don't hit women, you don't handle them in a certain way, things like that. Why are we not just saying that this is something you don't do to other humans? You may not like what's happened or is happening, or whatever's going on, but why do we not just say that this is something that you don't do to other humans? Hey man, you sure you're good? You sure you're good? Yeah. All right, don't let, don't let them hit on you like that, man. All right, it didn't look like much, but still, you know, you don't deserve that either, okay? All right, man, be safe. So, this young lady is really being the physical aggressor. This guy's trying to, you know, just keep his hands off of her. We got to have a real understanding that this is not a gender sort of thing. This is a human thing. You don't put your hands on the next person. And regardless if one is stronger than the other, it's not the point. You just don't. You just don't. So, I don't know if intervening at this point is something that is necessary. It looks like he's walking off. And yeah, I, I get that one gender is more emotional than the other, but it still doesn't excuse these things. Parents, you got to teach your young ladies that putting your hands on somebody is no better than a young man putting his hands on her. Flat out. And it's not enough to say, well, maybe he did something to her. Maybe he did. But then do we get to turn around and say for every guy that's abused a woman that maybe she did something to him? That's not the answer. And for as long as I've been watching this interaction, um, she has been the aggressor. She's following him. So when you have the opportunity to walk away from something, to gather yourself, to get your thoughts together, I understand it doesn't always work that way. But at least there's that opportunity. I mean, she's over there punching a tree. This is not a good a good thing she needs some real help here we gotta check on other people hey are you okay what's going on what's going on are you over here punching a tree you're crying i mean is there anything you need help with just kind of boy problems okay well don't hurt yourself you need a ride someplace? Mm -hmm. no. You want some water? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my name is Vincent. What's your name? Okay. Well, looks like you're having some problems, yeah? I mean, I've had problems with girls, so I know how that stuff can go. You guys just having a rough time? Okay. And I don't want to get too much in your business, but if it's your boyfriend, sometimes the best thing to do is just leave it alone for a little while and then come back. And you guys can talk later when you both calm down. You got school today? Are you kind of kind of skipped out on school? Mm. Yeah. What school do you go to? North. Where? North. North? 
You're way over here from north? Wow. Okay. Well, are you sure you don't need a ride or something? Okay. Do me a favor. No more punching stuff. No more hitting anybody or hitting yourself. And I'm not here to call the police or anything. I just don't want to see anybody hurt. Okay? Okay. Well, you have a good day. And I am right there if you need any help. Okay? Okay. You know, it's tough. I get it. And when you are a teenager and all of these things and who knows what happened. I don't know if uh, he told her things that uh, in order to get what he wanted. Um, I don't know. But again, uh, being abusive has many layers. I will grant you that. Um, psychologically, emotionally, physically, sexually, all of those things. But she's clear across town from where she goes to school. So she's made a real effort to be over here. So this is, you know, what we call, you know, labor of love, even if it's probably puppy love or what have you. But, um, yeah, it's hard. It's hard because we've all been there. We've all been there as a young lady um, who may have been, um, who fell too hard, as a young man who fell too hard. Uh, it happens. But what we can't do is teach or allow that violence is going to be some, some form of answer to it. We can be frustrated. We can have a lot of um, pent-up energy and things that we want to take out. But do it on an object. Um, it's not a tree. You know, she's punching the tree. And, you know, if you want something else, like if you want to scream it out or whatever, but... All I all I want to see for her and him is that this doesn't get worse and they don't they don't hurt each other um, because she's already kind of set herself back by not going to school. She's clear across town. I don't know if this is you know the age old age old tale of something sexual has happened and now you know he got not necessarily what he wanted because I don't think he assumed that this was going to be part of it, but he may have got the physical end of it. Um, and maybe she wanted the physical end of it as well, but after you see these changes, um, and we've, most of us have been there on one end or the other. Um, it doesn't mean he's a terrible person. He's young too. He's very young too. So he may not have understood the gravity of telling a young lady, Hey, I feel a certain way about you or doing something in a physical and hopefully you know consensual way for both of them because it could have been it, it can go both ways but um and this this thing same thing goes it doesn't change it doesn't change the older we get a lot of times it's it stays the same or it gets worse because then there's a stacking of traumas it's a cumulative process before people really get to these places that we see um yeah, I, I feel badly for her. I feel badly for him. And like I told him, you know, don't let don't let people hit you. You don't deserve it. Uh, even if they are upset, you don't deserve to be somebody's punchy bag. Because again, if we flip this around, it wouldn't be fair just to say, well, he was frustrated. He had a hard day or whatever it is. He's insecure. Any of those things, it wouldn't be fair. So we can't allow it on, on any level. Well, like I told her, I wasn't trying to call the police or you know whatever else it, I'm just there as a concerned person and I'm sure it's weird to have just some guy come out of the blue and offer you a ride and things like that but if it can help her get to where she needs and who knows maybe just maybe her folks don't know that she's over here that happens too that happens too and I've been places I my parents didn't know when it came to girls and things like that sorry mom but um, you just, yeah, so you hide. And where are you going to hide? But by the tree that you're punching in front of this kid's house because you may not have a way to get back, which is why I offer the ride. Um, and if she's out there after any amount of time, I may just even offer, you know, to get her an Uber. Like, let's just get you to where you need to be. Um, it doesn't have to be 
with me and good on her for not just saying, hey, I'll jump into a stranger's car. But um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, guys, what are your thoughts on something like this? Because we've we've all been there on some level and it's painful. And hopefully what she gets to see is not that I'm some wonderful person, but just that somebody cares. And we should all give that to somebody that we see in pain, some in places that we've been because we know how hard it is and as a father you don't want I don't want that for my girls I would hate to think that my daughter would be standing out like that you know um, and people just seeing it and not intervening in a way that would be beneficial for her just to know okay somebody cares at least uh, so that's why I kind of talked to her offered her some water what have you and just ask her in the in the grand scheme of things just do me a favor. No more, no more hitting things. No more hitting other people. No more punching trees. I just don't want to see anybody hurt. So, um, unless something else develops, I think this is all that I got. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say on this matter. Um, any sort of questions, comments, concerns, experiences, things that we can just share and um, be one, be united when it comes to how this village needs to start raising our children. So I'm going to leave it at that. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.